no one could understand. It was like every morning I couldn't find a reason to wake up. The world felt cold like slate, like the marble tiles in the front hallway of my parents' house. That floor was always cold. Oh, how I'd like to feel the cold against my feet now. But there I was in some 11 by 12 apartment room running from my past, my present. Every morning I would wake up and I would wake up from that night again. The haze of the drunken nights from then on, knowing the faceless faces couldn't care less as long as I had my way with them later that night. What would my parents think of me now? I could feel myself getting older by the minute. I could feel my skin wrinkling, my joints getting stiff. I could feel my bones, the marrow drying up, my bones crumbling away. And every morning, I could put on my clothes, get my work together, head out the door, could I ever get out of this cycle? And it was as if I had never realized that all this time I was looking for a purpose. And it was you. When I strolled up to a street singer, I stopped because I saw your face. Why on earth did you think you could tell me your secrets when we only met 15 minutes before? And just being in your presence made me break down, made me have everything, made me love everything, made me want change. I'd scream at you in rage. I'd lean on you, my stare, and you would let me. And it was as if the marrow was back. I could just lay in bed at night and feel the blood running through my body. I could feel the oxygen as I inhaled, hitting my bloodstream. I could even feel the marrow, all the cells in my body moving faster and faster. My skin would tingle. I suddenly had power. I could make blood move to any part of my body. I could make a pain go away. I could turn myself into stone. Not so I was cold and unfeeling, but so I was strong, immovable, and I did it for me. But don't you dare think for a moment that I didn't do it for you. Thank you very much.